A midweek investigation has found that a wide range of prescription medicine is being bought by individuals on the internet. Although illegal, drugs, including those which bring on an abortion, have been stopped by customs officials in the last year. This report from Midweek's Kira Doherty. These pictures from Pfizer of counterfeit drug production, released to highlight the conditions these illegal drugs are produced in. On sanitary settings aside, this growing and highly profitable business is one that is steadily making its presence felt in the Irish marketplace. For the third year running the Irish Medicines Board, who regulate medical products, along with Customs and Gardaí, took part in an Interpol-coordinated effort targeting the online sale of counterfeit and illegal medicines. In Ireland, this time we seized more than a quarter of a million individual tablets and capsules with a value of something in the order of €500,000, so it's quite a substantial seizure this year. And th there are certainly a lot of individual importations that are simply for the individual person and for those that we seize, and of course we're not seeing the entire picture, I'm sure, we're seizing some of those and we're just dealing with the individuals involved. So what drugs are people buying online? What risk, if any, is involved? And why are they doing so? I'm sure everybody sees in their inbox maybe 10, 20, 30 invitations to go and buy all sorts of medications. And so therefore it's quite easy for people, if they do have some ache or wonder, to go on and surf uh, what it is that might be causing their problem. And then with another click of the mouse be told, well, these are the medicines they're going to actually have. Help you and then with another click of your mouse actually have done the purchase and the deal and uh, you know get the product perhaps in a few days time and it could be totally the wrong product. The confiscated tablets included products for weight loss, erectile dysfunction and mood stabilizers. But looking on the internet medication including antibiotics, antidepressants, cancer tablets and insulin are all available. Some are authentic, some are fake but all say experts carry risks. There are many different forms of danger associated with it because you may be getting the correct medicine or you may not. You may get the dose you think you're getting or you may not. It could be real or it could be fake. And um, Some of the medicines that have been intercepted coming into the country have been shown to be coming from places as far afield as China and Thailand and they're actually counterfeit medicines. Some of them are toxic and some of them are harmless. But the fact that you're taking something that doesn't contain a medicine when you think you are means that whatever the underlying condition is, it's going untreated. So why are people purchasing these drugs via the internet? Cost would be probably cited as the number one. Typically, it might not be the cost of the medicine as opposed to what they might pay for it here, but they'd be factoring in the cost of visiting a GP and the cost of the prescription and so on. The second issue would be convenience and the third would be confidentiality. The high cost of prescription medicine has long been an issue for the Irish public. I think of what my daughter can buy it for in, in Paris and I can quote you an incident where she had to pay 40 euro for tablets here on a prescription the very same tablets she got in Paris where she works and lives for four euro. I do without them rather than pay 30 or 40 pounds for just about a week's supply of tablets. I pay the full 120 a month. And do you think that's reasonable? Not really. I only get two tablets. When you're in Liverpool the paracetamol is only 15p <laughs> for a jar of paracetamol 15p and what do you reckon you'd pay in Ireland for that you'd pay 6 euro wouldn't you for a packet of 12 probably tablets would it be and what do you think the government the department of health the HSE what should they be doing don't ask me about that because you don't want to hear my answer okay <laughs> so why are drugs cheaper in some other European countries pharmaceutical companies don't charge the same prices around the world as I said, in countries such as Spain and Greece, they tend to pitch the price very low. The price will be pitched based on what the local government is willing to pay and what the local market will bear. So again, it's nothing to do with the pharmacies. The pharmaceutical companies and the government have agreed the pricing structure here. But we are seeing reductions in prices now. They're, they're coming through slowly. Everything isn't going to see an across-the-board reduction. But last February, three or 400 of the most commonly prescribed branded medicines actually came down substantially in price. And those price reductions were passed on to Irish patients by their New agreements with generic drug manufacturers should also see prices coming down. But overall, what they charge, coupled with pharmacists' own markup on drugs, over 50% in some cases for private patients, means the costs of medicine in Ireland is significant. But there's another reason why people are going online. It's because they can buy medication that isn't available to them in Ireland. 
like these abortion tablets. The tablets are said to induce an abortion up to nine weeks into pregnancy and were bought from a website that sells within the EU. After filling out a short health questionnaire and paying $80, the tablets were delivered to our door in four days. Buying any prescription medicine online is illegal, but that alone, says the Irish Patients Group, won't stop the public. Well, clearly we have to look at the, the drivers. Uh, as I say, there's one side you have people who are self-medicating because they have this, uh, they feel inhibited to go to their doctor and explain their problems. On the other side, then, we do have the drivers of cost. The cost of going to a GP can be very expensive on a private basis. And then when you go to your pharmacy to get your medicines, the medicines could cost you 60, 70, 80 euro on top of your visit to the GP. So it particularly in this current economic climate everybody is watching every cent that they can and if they think that they can get a, a better deal on the internet or maybe getting a friend to buy medicines when they go abroad for them uh, you know they will try that but they have to be aware that there's a serious risk here that you know you can die from one click of your mouse but that it seems isn't enough to deter every member 